Hey everyone, so today I wanted to talk about the books that I am hoping to read in March. So we're going to start with physical books because I've already started reading one of those um, and that is Invictus by Ryan Groudon. So I really love the Wolf by Wolf duology by Ryan Groudon and I thought I would pick this one up. I actually thought this was going to be a series but it doesn't look like it is. Which I find it kind of weird that I just immediately assumed that it was going to be a series and so I was like, oh, I can't start any new series. But now I'm slightly worried because if this book is really good, which I think it's going to be, then I know that I'm going to be really sad that it's not a series and that there's not more to it. So now I don't know whether I want it to be good or not. But uh, this story basically follows a crew of time travel thieves. Um, I did hear Ryan Groudon describe this as Firefly but with time travel. And I'm already a hundred pages in and so far I think that's a pretty accurate description. So I'm pretty excited for this book. I'm also hoping to do a reread of the Kate Daniels series. I'm actually planning to reread the whole series before the 10th and final book is released later in the year. And I meant to read this last month, but somewhere along the way I forgot to add it to my TBR and so then I just forgot about it. So this month it's on my TBR and I'm really excited to go back in the series and see how different things were in the beginning because it's so long since I read this first book now that I'm sure I remember it quite differently from what it's actually like and Kate herself has developed a lot quite through the series. So Kate Daniels is basically this mercenary in a world where magic has started to come back but magic comes back in waves and whenever magic is up technology doesn't work. But you can never really predict on this world whether technology is going to be up or whether magic is going to be up. So it's had quite an interesting effect on the world. Um, also with a whole bunch of different magical creatures coming back into being and um, Kate herself gets quite involved with the shapeshifter clan and really these books are just so fast-paced and great mythology brought in from all sorts of different areas of the world and I love this series so I'm excited to read this. It's also pretty short so it should be a pretty quick reread because normally I just sit down and read these super quick so since this one's so short not worried about getting this read. Now the next physical book that I have on my pile, I'm, I mean I have it here, so it's Colors of Chaos which is by Ellie Modis Jr. Uh, and this is like 800 pages or something and I think it's the ninth book in the Saga of Recluse series which basically follows this fantasy world where there's two main kinds of magic, order magic and chaos magic and then sometimes grey magic in between. Um, order is represented by the colour black and chaos is represented by the colour white but at different parts of time and also in parts of the world different kinds of magic or magicians are the good guys so it's never like order is good chaos is bad it's it's much less clear than that and I really love Kind of the theory and the thinking around this world it's always really detailed world, world building but it's also like really dense so what I'm hoping to do is read these on audiobook and I have actually because I had this one on hold on audiobook on the from the library and the jerk who had it was just keeping it forever and ever and I got too impatient so I did start a few days ago reading the next book the 10th book in the series which I think is called The Magi of Sayador and I believe that the Magi of Sayador is set back in the past compared to the rest of the books. Although I really don't know, I don't remember what that belief is based on. So I've decided, I'm, I already started reading the Magi of Sayador and I'm just going to read the 10th book before the 9th book. Uh, most of these books are quite standalone-ish. I mean they're so big the stories in of themselves and I even though they sort of interrelate I don't think it's gonna matter that I read them out of order especially because it's been so long since I read the first eight books in the series I don't really remember a lot of the details I'm not rereading them so I'm just gonna see what happens um, I do know so I've started the audiobook of Magi of Sayador and I do find the narrator a little bit annoying I want to say that he kind of reads the 
the words with not much emotion, but I don't think that's quite accurate. I think he actually reads it with emotion, but not the emotion that I would expect the words to have. So I'm not sure whether I'm going to get through, I guess I want to read both books, which is about 50 hours of audiobook. We'll see how we go. I do have a long commute and I also want to do a lot more exercise this month and those are the two times that I read audiobooks so hopefully that means I'll have plenty of time to get through those two audiobooks. Now see we've sort of slipped into talking about audiobooks now so I do also have two other audiobooks on hold at the library. Uh, one is Ready Player One which is a book I read last year and it's coming out as a movie at the end of this month so I wanted to reread it in preparation for watching the movie so that I can compare and contrast and then I figured why not reread it as an audiobook and then I can compare all three formats of telling the same story. So Ready Player One is a fairly popular book so you probably know but if you don't it's set in a dystopian future where the world's kind of shit but most people spend their time in the Oasis which is a virtual world where people can experience all sorts of different worlds but then the owner of the oasis dies and he leaves the scavenger hunt behind where whoever wins the scavenger hunt gets to inherit his fortune and ownership of the oasis and we follow our main character who it, it reveals quite near the beginning i think that he is going to win but you kind of follow through how he wins one thing i will be interested in a reread i know that when i first read the book i hated the main character mainly because he's that kind of person who if you don't know every single tiny detail about a fandom he would consider you to not be a real fan and i hate those kind of people in real life but he didn't really it didn't really annoy me when i was reading the book um and after reading the book i have heard quite a lot of people say they thought it was quite sexist didn't bother me too much when I'm reading it so I'm interested to see on a reread whether these things bother me more now that I'm more aware of them and looking out for them. So I think at the moment I'm like 12th on 10 copies so I'm not entirely sure that it's going to come through by the end of March but if it does then I will listen to it. And then also I have another audiobook on hold which I think is called All Our Wrong Todays. And I don't know who it's by. I'll look it up and write the details somewhere here. Um, I, I just, I saw a booktuber talking about it. It's about this guy who's able to time travel and he changes the world so that he's happy but there's a whole bunch of other things that now aren't so good about the world and so he's perhaps trying to get things back. It kind of sounds a little bit like the butterfly effect, but I love the butterfly effect. Basically anything with time travel I love. So as soon as I heard about it, I placed the hold on it, even though I already have a hold on way too many things. Oops. Let's hope the ones that I'm waiting for come through and not all the other ones. So that's all to your books. Now let's talk about graphic novels. I was hoping to read the third and fourth books of Buffy season 11 that came out this month. Um, well, technically it's the second book of Buffy season 11 and the second book of Buffy Angel, Angel season 11, but is it Angel season 11? I don't know, the whole thing's gotten very confusing now, but there's another Buffy <laughs> comic roll up and an Angel one coming out and I wanted to read them and I wanted to read, my library's supposed to be getting the Buffy one in physical form and I wanted to read it in physical form. I've put a hold on it, but it looks like they're still being ordered in and that there's quite a few people queued up and I'm not really sure where I am in that queue. So <sighs> I'm not confident that it's going to come through in March. But then because I was thinking about graphic novels and I was also thinking about graphic novels because the monthly recommendations group for February, the prompt was graphic novels that you'd recommend. And I realized other than the Buffy comic roll-ups, I haven't really read any gra graphic novels. So I decided that I would fix that. Um, and also I kept seeing good reviews for Paper Girls. So, and I just, I love these bright colors. So I just, I requested them from the library. I've actually also got book three waiting for me at the library and four hopefully on the way soon after that so hopefully i'll be able to get through all of these graphic novels are usually pretty quick so 
hopefully that will help because there are way too many things on this TBR but if those are quick then that will help uh, also I requested the first two volumes of Monstrous Monstrous um, I guess I should say so this one I believe is about time travel I don't know anything else other than that looks cool and Monstrous is a girl who I believe is half animal half human again I don't really know much but the art looks cool and people have said good things about it um these ones are actually a lot thicker than I was expecting so I'm a bit worried they'll take a little bit longer but they're still graphic novels so they should be quick so hopefully I can get through those now technically I've already listed 10 things here and I normally only get through eight things in a month so that seems like I should stop now right right Actually, it's more than 10 things if you say 3 and 4 of Paper Girls as well. That would be 12 things. But graphic novels are quick. And audiobooks just happen in the car magically. So, it's not that many. Because now I'm going to talk about ebooks. And actually, no. A lot of the ones on my ebook list are quite short ones as well. So, I think it's going to work out okay. Even though the numbers look bad. I think it's going to be alright. So, ebooks. I'm already reading Window Wall by Melanie Ruan which is the fourth book in the Glass Thorns series, which I have been working my way through. The Glass Thorns are this theatre group that do magical theatre performances, which uh, magic impacts people's emotions when they're watching the play. Um, and there's kind of this mystery going on with some political stuff and this guy who has visions and there's all these unhealthy relationships. It's a really hard series to describe because I'm not actually convinced that at the end of five books there is actually going to be like a yes this has reached a satisfying conclusion. They're more kind of like just exploratory slice of life investigate lots of themes kind of books but I want to finish the series so I'm working my way through them. They're okay. So that's Window Wall. Then I also had my hold on A Wrinkle in Time come through, which I wanted to watch before the movie comes out. So that's pretty short. Hopefully I'll be able to read that. I believe that's a series. So that means it's going to add to my series in progress list. But meh, whatever. Uh, also, I don't know why, but I put a hold on Sight Witch by Susan Dennard, which is like a novella coming out between the second and third books I believe um, about a site which I guess I saw it in my Goodreads email and I was like oh I'm reading that series I better read that even though I haven't really been enjoying the Truth Witch series so I don't know why I want to read it but I put a hold on it and I'm getting really close to the top I think I'm first on two copies so it should come through soon and it should be short so I guess I'll read it and see what I think. And then the last thing I'm actually really surprised that I didn't hear about. I heard about it on the 28th of February just randomly on Twitter um, and that is Opal by Ma Maggie Stevada. I can't believe that there's not like a million people talking about this on booktube or at least I haven't seen anyone and given that everyone talks about the raven cycle so much that's so weird. But yeah Opal is basically the story of Ronan's dream girl. Opal if you haven't read the books then trust me that that sentence didn't mean whatever you would think it would mean. It's only a really short story. I did already my hold came through and I read about the first couple of pages on the on my phone while I was walking to work and I thought no 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 no. This is like Maggie Stevada's writing is always so atmospheric. I don't want to read this while I'm walking to work. That's totally the wrong frame of mind to be in. So I decided that I want to get myself somewhere like really calming and peaceful and maybe in nature, maybe where I can pretend I'm in caves water or something um, and then I'm going to try and read it there. And so it's probably, I thought it would be last weekend, it didn't really work out. Probably going to be this weekend. I might try and put Saturday aside completely for reading. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. I just, I think for a short story, Maggie Stevada's kind of atmospheric lyrical writing style is going to be really great. So yeah, those are, those are all the ebooks. See, it's not that many not that many it's just like four things and three of them are really short so it's almost like nothing that's not true but anyway those are all the books so this has probably been way too long a video because that is way too long a list but 
let me know if you've read any of the books I've mentioned and you think I'm going to enjoy them. I'd love to talk to you about them down in the comments. I hope that you read some really great books in March and I will see you next time.